Here's another speed multiplier. When I turn the gray one around, the yellow one turns around faster. So if I wanna measure how that happens, I need to uh, work out the ratio. And if I'm gonna do that, I need to count either the teeth and compare them that way or count turns. So let's see how many times the yellow one goes around every time the gray one goes around once. So we've got one turn, two turns. Oh, the gray one's gone around, but the yellow one hasn't finished turning. Looks like it's gone another half. So maybe we could say two and a half turns. If I keep going, it does three, four, five turns, and the gray one does two full turns to get back. So we have a ratio of two to five. Now I can compare the number of teeth and check that. I know there are 40 on the big one. Let's see how many there are on the other one. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14, 15, 16. 40 and 16 gives a ratio of 16 to 40. Now we know that 40 is divisible by eight and so is 16. So if I divide them both by eight, I should be able to work out the ratio I found before. Now if I do that, I find that I get a ratio of two to five. Now I can take that a little bit further because I can divide them both by two and I get one to 2.5. So every time the gray one turns around once, the yellow one turns around two and a half times. Here's yet another speed multiplier. If I turn the yellow one around, I make the black one turn faster. Now I can quantify that again. Quantify means measure by counting turns. So let's go. We've got one full turn for black, two full turns for black for one of here. So what's the ratio? It's one to two. We've got 16 on there and eight on there. You know they're both divisible by eight. So divide them both by eight, we get one to two.